Hey there guys and welcome back to another top 10 video and today it's the top 10 outfield players for Sevilla we have going on. Um, yeah, not much I should say, just going to get straight into this and uh, get ever so closer now to that to the full release of the game and I cannot wait for it. Still haven't really got like a schedule sorted, not really sure like when, like maybe like the journey, what day the journey is going to be uploaded, maybe what day Karimo is going to be uploaded, sort of things like that. Um, uh, just a little bit of like info, like I'm actually uh, back at uni now, that's probably why you're wondering like, like I had the change of background and that behind me because a couple of videos before the start of the sort of like FIFA 17 with the face came back had butterflies in the background. Yeah, that's just because of the room I was recording it when I was at home. But now back at uni. Um, yeah, not obviously I'm planning on making time to record as much as possible to get videos out. Like originally I know I said I wanted to get two a day, so I'm gonna try and do that and see what happens. And uh, if I just physically don't have enough time because of uni and what's going on, then it will be as a cut down to at least one and maybe two some on certain days I don't know so I have to just have to wait and see but for that but um the first videos I'm planning out again are the journey and probably career mode and then building onto the um, ultimate team after them too for sure um but yeah with that being said guys let's get straight to this um and yeah let's go so top 10 outfield players in Sevilla and as you can see on screen the first guy in the top 10 is Danny Alves a new guy in the scene in Sevilla Obviously, from his transfer from Barcelona in the summer, free agent went across to Sevilla. Went to Juventus, and why not? Because they're a solid, solid team in Sevilla. Been pretty unbeatable the last couple of seasons over in that over in Italy, and he's been upgraded from an 84 to an 85 rated player from his normal goal card that he started with on FIFA 16. Um, incredible right back we all know he is, Brazilian superstar with 87 pace, 82 dribbling, 70 shooting, 76 passing. 69 physical or 78 defending. He's a bit more of an attacking fullback than maybe like a defensive player fullback. So if you like having defensive fullbacks, then I certainly probably would go for this guy. But in an attacking sense, you can't go wrong with Danny Evers as a fullback. Or maybe even a wing back if you like playing the five of the backs. I don't know. That's entirely your choice and up to you. But Danny Evers definitely one for an attacking fullback. And here we have next up another player who's just transferred over to. Juventus, but obviously not on a free this time. I can't actually remember how much he went for, but you know, I've no idea. I'm not going to guess a figure um, about it. Can't remember how much he went for, but he did go for Roma across to Juventus in Italy, and that is Pjanic. Um, 85 rated. I believe that's an upgrade from last season. Yeah, 84. I thought it was. Um, I played him with myself, and he really was really really good. I mean, didn't quite have the pace that most people wanted in, in FIFA 16, which is why I'm denied about him. I'll be honest about that. But when I did get him, he's got a very, very solid <coughs> uh, left foot there. Excuse me, sorry about that. Um, used to score goals with him, used to pick passes off. He was really, really good in that centre midfield position. I would really recommend it. And it was really cheap as well, like 2k, three, two, 3,000 coins. That's all he was. I don't know if he's going to cost that much again to start with, but. Obviously, looking at his max price range there, we can see it's set to 50k at the moment. So I can't imagine it's going to cost too much. But he's a very good player. With 74 pace, 75 shooting, 86 passing, 68 physical, 64 defending, 84 dribbling. Perhaps maybe you could try this guy in a cam position. If he doesn't quite have the defending the physique, maybe to play in centre mid or almost certainly CDM. But maybe at cam, he could be could be the cheap option at cam you're looking for in the Serie A. Next up, we have Hamsik. 85 rated player, upgraded from 83 last season on FIFA 16, and his haircut is just unbelievable, isn't it? With his Mohican in there. But I had this guy as well on the last FIFA. Obviously, got himself a team of the season as well, which was really, really good. Um, yeah, I really, really liked him on the last FIFA. I thought it was unbelievable. I thought it was really, really good. Obviously, just lacked a little bit of pace, if, if I'm being honest, in my opinion. But nevertheless, his shooting and his passing were really, really nice, really good. And with the upgrade he's been given, I can't imagine they've got any. But well, obviously it shouldn't have got worse, but it must have got better. And if they got better, then this guy is going to be a real gem for your team. With 76 pace, 78 shooting, 83 passing, 69 physical, 64 defending, 82 dribbling. I mean, I'm assuming he's going to start off as a CM because that's what we, we're seeing here. But in my opinion, I would almost certainly, certainly play him at cam and no less than that. Because at a cam position, this guy just pops up in the box, pops up where you want him to. to just score those goals and tap them in. So what more can you ask for? Next up we have Dybala and this guy is absolutely incredible. 
I mean, doesn't have his five star skills anymore. They have gone down to four, but that shouldn't matter because this guy is an absolute incredible player. I had him in my CBR team on FIFA 16. Couldn't go wrong with him. Popping the skills, popping the goals, and the pace. Incredible. He's almost like a younger version of Aguero in the sense he's, Argent he's Argentinian and he's got very, very similar stats as well. Obviously, not quite the player he is, but he's sure growing to be that player. And at 85 rated, I. He did have an upgrade, it, yeah, started from 78, 7 upgrade from FIFA 16, he's have been having a phenomenal season, absolutely incredible time at Juventus, scoring goals, and in that team really, you cannot, you cannot score goals, it's hard to not score goals and to score them in that Juventus team at the moment, but 88 pace, 90 dribbling, 86 shooting, it's just a dream, dream sort of partnership or stats there, if you like, on his card as a striker. It's going to be terrorised the defence, they're not going to know what to do. Is he going to sprint past? Is he going to dribble around? Is he just going to have a shoot and try and score? Don't know. You really have all the options you want with this guy. He's got 76 passing, 66 physical, 23 defending. Not really too bored about these three stats as a striker. As you're not really going to be looking to pass, but looking to offload, looking to get the ball in the ball to him in the spaces in the, that way you want and where you want to try and score. So Dabala, if you're looking for an attacking play in Syria. You really got to have a look at this guy because you, he's not going to let you down. Next up, we have Miranda, and this is he's actually the first of four defenders, first of four defenders in the Serie A that rip that make it into the top ten out of four players for this season on FIFA 17. The first of all, we start with Miranda here, 86 rated, which I believe is that even an upgrade. It is an upgrade. Yeah, that's because as you can see, he did actually get two. Actually, I don't know what I'm talking about here, but a two upgrade. I don't know if it was normal gold card on FIFA 16. Um, I used Miranda himself, had really good pace, really good defending. Maybe lacked a little bit of physicality in his physical side, but apart from that, really good cheap defender for the Serie A, that's for sure. Inter Milan player, Brazilian born, with a 75 pace, 89 defending, and 77 physical there, if I can get my words out. The three key stats you want as a centre back, and for his being at least 75 or higher, you really can't go wrong with this guy. I don't know how much it's going to be. I mean, his highest max is 45k, so I'm guessing maybe 20k, maybe maybe around in the middle of that is what I'm thinking. And we got just go through his other stats with 64 dribblings, 49 shooting, and 56 passing. Um, not too really worried about them. It's the other three stats we're looking at, and especially that 89 defending. That is absolutely incredible. His tackling will be incredible. Will be out of this world. Will be insane. If he gets a half chance to tackle, he's sure to be able to pull it off. Getting those key tackles in for you in the box. Where maybe your opponent's thinking he's got a chance of scoring or go back to pot one in. Miranda's going to be there probably to save the day on numerous occasions. And as I said, I did mention there was four defenders in this top ten, and here we go. With the second one is Barzagli of Juventus, a target for Man. Was he? Oh, that was Benucci. I know. I can't remember. I'm going to stop saying all this stuff and just concentrate on the player we have in hand there, and his card. And that's Barzagli, 86 rated Juventus guy, Italian born. Really, really good actually in the Euros for Italy this season. Um, in that in that back three, really, really solid. 74 pace again, really good for a centre back this season. 89 defending and 79 physical, which is is pretty pretty much similar to Miranda in terms of those in terms of the stats he has. Very, very similar. Obviously the same rating as well. Interestingly though enough, his max like by now price is a little bit higher than Miranda. Miranda, so maybe they're thinking maybe like. Within, within the stats on his cards in more detail he is maybe a tiny bit better in some places that are more useful for being a centre back I don't know, we'll have to wait and see but, is, but and he's also got 56 passing 63 dribbling and 37 shooting but it doesn't matter about his 37 shooting because we're not really worried about it at all because um, he's not going to be popping up and trying those long ranges and trying those shots, maybe you are going to do it if you're cruising with a good lead maybe you're going to try, try and score a bang with him I don't know but no less, this guy is going to be like an incredible player, incredible defender in the Serie A, and you're going to want him in your team. Here we go, next up in 4th place of the top 10 out four players in the Serie A, we have Marquisio, 86 rated, Juventus player again, it's a bit of a theme here, the majority of them seem to be playing for Juventus, and it's not a surprise because they are by far the best team in Serie A at the moment. But if you look at FIFA 16 here, we can see he did have an upgrade from his 84 card, his 84 gold card. There, and he also got a team of the season there 
at 89 rated, but I'm not surprised he's done that great. Absolutely incredible midfielder, absolutely everywhere, all the time. And his stats are just incredible for a centre mid. They're all rounded, really, all of them are high. As you can see, the lowest being 74 for shooting. Uh, he's just an all round absolute monster. Absolute monster for your team. And he's going to be there wherever you want him for sure. And I know that from, from personally playing with him on FIFA 16 last season. He was everywhere. If you needed him, he was there, popping up, scoring goals, getting back, defending, and just being there in the middle of the field to find that pass. So he's got the 77 pace, 74 shooting, as we mentioned, 83 passing, 75 physical, 76 defending, 83 dribbling. And if you're looking at this guy thinking, yeah, he could really do a job in my team, you're going to have to probably save up and spend a, few, a fair few of your coins to get him. Because this guy, you can be sure, it's not going to be cheap. And here we go, into the top three, and in that third spot we have Benucci, our third centre-back, 87 rated, Juventus again. 70 pace, 69 dribbling, 53 shooting, 68 passing, 81 physical, 87 defending. You might think it would be like, why is he 87 rated? And obviously Miranda and Barzaki were both only 86, considering they both had better defending and pace than this guy. I mean, he's got a little bit more better physical than Miranda and Barzaki. But his defending isn't quite as high, so I'm not really sure why he has ended up being high rated. Is that because maybe... It's like shooting's a bit higher that pushed his rating up to maybe that 87. I don't know. But regardless of that, get this guy, you won't be disappointed as you can see. It's pretty much going to do what his car says. It's going to be have the pace, he's going to be actually defending. And with a bit more physicality, maybe despite lacking a little bit of pace compared to the others, he will be able to just keep up a little bit and just maybe give him a few nudges, little TD pulls there to get them back to then just tackle them and get the ball off them very very nicely obviously a target for Man City in the summer had a bit of I believe it was like 50 million rejected for him and you can see why and for sure he's going to be a target again for many other clubs in the future incredible player and at number three we have Benucci and in that number two spot we have Chiellini of Juventus again and he is our highest rated centre back in Serie A this season on FIFA 17 Again, upgrade from FIFA 16, it is 87 rated, got a great so he's got the one upgrade from last season. I mean, despite his age, despite him getting a little bit older, there is no stopping this guy. He is a rock at the back of Juventus. He is he is their defence. And basically, yeah, what can you say? You're going to want him, he's going to cost a fair few coins. I reckon maybe about 60, 70k, not really sure. I mean, I know last FIFA it cost a little bit less than that. But as we know always, prices do eventually go down and down. So eventually you might be able to get your hands on them. And you're sure going to want him. 74 pace, 90 defending, 90 defending, 85 physical. And that combination is going to be unstoppable. It's going to be a real force in your defence if you have this guy. You're going to have to keep up. You're going to be able to have to put those tackles in. And when you put those tackles in, you're going to have to kind of use his physicality to sort of shoot the ball off them when you tackle them to try and keep, to keep the ball at your feet and then just get it away and out of danger. I mean, it's over three stats. He's got 58 dribbling, 46 shooting, 53 passing. Not really that important. Don't need him too much. But the other three stats is what you're looking for, and they're incredible. And here we have, in that number one spot, we have Gonzalo Higuaín. Big money move from Napoli to Juventus in the summer, and you're not surprised. His goal score record at Sevilla is incredible. It's out of this world. And he's got 80 pace, 87 shooting, 68 passing, 74 physical, 82 dribbling, <laughs> only 24 defending. But you know, there's no way this guy's going to go back to your defence and helping out because he's going to be up top scoring those goals here. And with 87 shooting, he's definitely, definitely going to be doing that. Also, goal scoring record unbelievable. I mean, sometimes you know, I've got mixed opinions on him when using on FIFA. I mean, sometimes he, he's been alright and he's looked good and I've used him, hasn't really been all that. So maybe this time it's a bit, a bit of it's going to be a change of me. And if I be able to get him, then maybe he is going to be I'm going to be able to use him better, and he is going to be really good for me. Because the last FIFA, couple of Fifas, he hasn't really been that good for me. You know, I don't know why. Maybe it's just the way I play on Fifa just hasn't suited me. I really don't know. But hopefully this season with his upgrade to an 88 from, as you can see, 84 rated last season, huge four upgrade. That he is really going to be a huge help to my team, and I'm going to be scoring lots more goals for them to help me win games. Rosolo Higuain, the joint top highest player with Kirlini in Serie A this season. And there we go guys, that is it for this video. That is the top 10 players in Serie A. Interesting enough, four centre-backs in that, which is quite incredible. 
and three of them being Juventus centre backs as well. Oh, so I just got like my throat was there, just a little bit dodgy, as you know. Not not all the best, at the moment, not all the best. But we're getting there. But anyway, yeah, that's gonna be it for today for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching as always. Hope you guys are looking forward to the full release of FIFA 17, just like I am. And with that being said, have a great day. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time.